Welcome to this tech tip showing the installation and first launch of EdgeCam 2018R1. This tech tip is intended for the user that has a previous recent version of EdgeCam and is updating to the 2018R1 version. We encourage you to watch the entire video before installing the software. There are also essential tips included with the video for companies with network licensing and for custom configurations where the Toolstore database is deployed from a network host. After downloading EdgeCam 2018R1, extracting the contents, and opening the Start Here file, you will have the installation navigation screen shown here. We suggest that before installing, you should refer to the installation guide located in the Prepare section for complete information on the software installation process. The EdgeCam installation process is very straightforward. You begin with selecting the EdgeCam option in the Install section. This launches the EdgeCam installer, which guides you through the process. First, we have the license agreement. Once you have read and accepted it, the next prompt is for the path to install to. The default path is usually appropriate. Next is the choice of a typical or custom installation. The typical installation is appropriate for most users. The live job reports, part modeler, and CAD links are all included as part of a typical EdgeCam install. You can use the custom option if you wish to select the specific applications in the EdgeCam suite to install. Next is the program group to be created with the default suggestion provided. Next is the default units and environment to use when launching EdgeCam. Next is an option to participate in the Customer Experience Improvement Program. Users can opt out, but M2 Technologies strongly encourages our customers to participate if at all possible. The anonymous information collected helps direct software development in the areas used most frequently, which is good for everyone. Next is a summary screen. Review the information and select back if you need to make any changes. Otherwise, select install to begin the software installation. When installation is complete, you have the finish button and also notice that what's new is checked. We suggest browsing through what's new to become familiar with the changes and new technology in this release. You can also get to what's new from the install screen and anytime from the EdgeCamp help menu. Looking quickly at the install screen, the prepare section provides important reference information. Please refer to the installation guide before starting the software installation. This video is intended as a quick summary of the typical install process and is not intended to replace the detailed information in the installation guide. The other sections in the install section are optional. As noted previously, the live job reports, part modeler, and CAD links are installed automatically as part of a typical EdgeCam installation. The options shown here are provided for users that wish to install them separately. This may be desirable when these peripheral applications are used on computers other than EdgeCam workstations. Work Explorer is not installed with EdgeCam. Work Explorer is a high-speed 3D viewer which directly displays and evaluates 3D CAD models without the need for the original CAD application. Work Explorer provides measurement, annotation, analysis, screen images for setup reports, and other tasks useful for manufacturing engineering. Designer is a direct modeling software tool intended for CAD model cleanup and modification tasks needed by some users. Advion Tool Library has been updated to version 1.5.7.8 and is compatible with EdgeCam 2018R1 and 2017R2 versions. Users with older versions of Advion should update the software to gain new functionality. If you haven't checked out Advion, now's a great time to explore the many benefits from integrating this tool library with EdgeCam. The Advion tool library makes it easy to create and export tool assemblies to your CAM database or simulation software. 
Contact F2 Technologies for more information on Work Explorer, Designer, and Advion. Moving to the Server Installation section. The Sentinel RMS License Server is provided for deployments where the EdgeCam workstations obtain licenses from a network server. If your company uses network licensing, you must upgrade the Sentinel RMS License Manager to version 9.1 to be able to run EdgeCam 2018 R1. All users with network licensing should complete this upgrade on the license server before installing EdgeCam on the user workstations. This upgrade is done by installing Sentinel RMS license server on the computer acting as the license server. Earlier EdgeCam releases will work with network licenses hosted on the Sentinel RMS 9.1 server. Customers with standalone licenses can ignore this option. The SQL Tool Store option is provided for deployments where the database is hosted from a server. If this is how your company deploys the database, this installation should be done prior to installing EdgeCam on the user workstations. This is a common deployment for many users, especially companies with multiple CAM users. We will cover this in more detail at the end of this video. I'd like to point out the Browse Installation Folder option above Exit. This opens Windows Explorer and displays the contents of the DVD image. Notice the Utilities folder, which provides an installation removal application. We advise using this utility to easily remove this EdgeCam version from the workstation, if that should ever be necessary. You have full control over the software removal process with this utility, including ability to do a clean uninstall where all files and Windows registry entries can be removed. When the installation is complete, notice the EdgeCam 2018 R1 launcher shortcut that's been placed on the desktop. The launcher provides central access to EdgeCam, recently opened files, software applications including the Toolstore database, and other related software included in the EdgeCam suite. Before launching EdgeCam for the first time, we suggest going to the Toolstore administrator and confirming that the database you intend to use is selected as the active database. You'll notice that any database needing to be upgraded will have a red exclamation point. Simply select the database you intend to use, update if necessary, and make it active. We're going to launch EdgeCam and look at what happens the first time you use the new software version. First we get a prompt asking where to install sample data. The default is to copy the factory installation sample data to the local My Documents folder. This is the typical configuration for most workstations. Simply press OK to begin the process. Next we see the File Migration Wizard. This is a handy utility for copying user data from your previous version to the new version. You've probably configured the previous version exactly the way you like it, and this utility will copy those settings to the new version automatically. This is a very simple utility to use. Start by choosing the items to copy, and then select Install to start the File Migration Wizard. Hover the mouse over any item for a description of what the option controls. Most users can leave the default suggestions checked and proceed. After clicking Install, the utility copies the user data to the new version, so that EdgeCam 2018 R1 looks as close as possible to how you had configured the previous software version. Last, you have a question about registering the software. If you have already done this with a previous version and are using the Vero Customer Portal and Customer Community Forums, you can skip this step. If you haven't done that, you may want to take a moment to register. Congratulations, you're ready to start using the latest EdgeCam version. One suggestion, turn on Advanced to get to the Advanced Command Set. Additional information is available in the M2 Technologies Tech Tip on installing EdgeCam 2018 R1.
The M2 blog site has many tech tips and training segments. Use the search option on the blog page with keyword 2018R1 to locate this tech tip and additional information. Contact us by email or phone if you need additional assistance. This final segment is for customers that host the Toolstore database from a server. If your company doesn't do that, you can ignore the remainder of this tech tip. In this deployment scenario, there are typically multiple user workstations, which we will call clients. They all use a common database, which is installed on another computer, which we will call the database server. In this type of environment, the database server should be updated to the new software version first before installing EdgeCam on the client workstations. Step 1. Working on the database server, complete the SQL Toolstore installation. Step 2. Still working on the database server, upgrade the database. We will show an example of how to do that next. Once both tasks are complete, you can proceed to perform the EdgeCam installations on the client workstations. After the installation on each workstation is complete, that workstation should be mapped to the network database which was configured in steps 1 and 2. Please note this is done on each client workstation using the Toolstore Administrator, which is in the Applications area on the EdgeCam launcher. We've just completed the install of the SQL Toolstore on the computer acting as the database server. We've gone to Start and All Programs and found the EdgeCam program group for the latest version and opened Toolstore Administrator. We can see there's a database with the red exclamation indicating that it's a database from a previous version. When I left click on it, we'll go to the Upgrade Database option in the Management screen and we'll give this a new database a name. We suggest putting in an appendix that matches the version that this database is intended for. At the end of the upgrade process, we see the new database available as well as the old one. We're now ready to move out to the EdgeCam workstations and do a typical EdgeCam installation. At the end of those installations, we can connect them to the upgraded database on the database server.